Imagine an asteroid racing toward the moon, and the world's top scientists quietly debating whether we should nuke it in space. No, this isn't science fiction. It's a real conversation happening right now. The object triggering this debate is called 2024 YR4. It's not huge compared to Hollywood asteroids, maybe 60 meters across, small enough to miss our attention, but big enough to cause serious trouble if it hits the moon around 2032. But here's the real twist. If it slams into the lunar surface, the blast could eject clouds of sharp debris into space, creating a deadly haze of fast-moving rock fragments. Not a danger to us down here, but a nightmare for satellites and spacecraft around Earth, GPS, weather satellites, the systems we depend on every single day. So, some researchers suggested the most dramatic solution imaginable. Use two 100 kiloton nuclear devices to break the asteroid apart before it reaches the moon. Not to blow it to dust, but to redirect the threat and eliminate the worst case scenario. And here's where things get complicated. Legally, nuclear weapons in space break international treaties. Scientifically, we don't even know the asteroid's exact mass. If we shove it the wrong way, we could accidentally send it somewhere worse. And philosophically, is humanity ready to weaponize space in the name of protecting it? This proposal isn't really about stopping one asteroid. It's a trial run. A moment where humanity has to ask itself, are we willing to cross a moral line to defend our future in space? Is protecting Earth's orbit worth rewriting the rules of space forever? Maybe the bigger threat isn't the asteroid. Maybe it's the decision we're forced to make. What if the very foundation of truth required not one witness, but two? If you're curious about humanity's greatest choices, don't just look up, look ahead, subscribe, and stay curious.